I mean, just drop dead gorgeous. We grab that inflatable mattress. We grab the broken foot shoe because after my broken foot, those are always nice to have one. And God forbid, but you never know. And then we grab that little leather ottoman. We're gonna dig through that a little bit more, see if there's any goodies. Before we do go home, let's check out the furniture consignment store. Getting them, you gotta be kidding me. Those are gorgeous pieces. They latch into the middle. There's your right section. There's your middle section. There's your left section with recliner. And then another section here. Oh, wow. Just wasteful. Oh my goodness. I seriously, look at that. They clip in. I mean, just drop dead gorgeous. I'm not sure if you can smell that or not, but I'm smelling the bell. Do you smell the bell? Because I smell the bell. And the reason I like to go to this particular bell is there's a complex right over here on the way home. Plus it's downhill and I don't have to use much of my 20 miles left. Okay, remember that little leather ottoman? We're gonna go through that. Don't you worry about that. Again, we're gonna be testing out the blow-up mattress here. Inside the blow-up mattress was a very nice, special little surprise here. We got some sort of, they're not track shoes, but they could be, I guess, but very nice uh, type of uh, running shoes. Size 11, a little bit too big for me, about half a size too big for me. I'm gonna go ahead and wash those up, and if they, yeah, if they don't bother me, with the extra 0.5. I'm gonna go ahead and rock those for sure. Those are gonna clean up very nicely. Again, wash them inside the wash machine with your other clothes and then dry them. Don't put them in the dryer, but just wash them and they'll spit shine up very, very nice. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna donate it pretty much about 95% of it, but a couple of nice little mentions here. We got a, a travel uh, security thing, you know, where you put your money in at your passport, etc. We got a really soft teddy bear. I'm talking really soft, but I don't need any more teddy bears, so we're gonna go ahead and donate that. A lot of uh, extra buttons, and uh, we saw that uh, last night, a nice little picture frame from the mirage there coming over here do be careful do be careful some very sensitive action here of course i'm not going to show but do be careful please shred that stuff uh we have a very nice hair brooch or brooch uh, i forgot i don't know how you pronounce that there's some uh, uh looks like cubic zirconium or something like that in it beautiful design there absolutely gorgeous coming over here to a really nice bracelet as well take a look at that natalie is just gonna love that how gorgeous are those pieces right there coming over here to some tape yeah i'm gonna definitely use that for kickboxing and over here a nice little uh coin of some sorts from looks like france and then check that out it's not burberry but it looks like a burberry type of design and it is 100 cashmere i looked on the little label there but uh, it's 100 cashmere looks uh similar to burberry i definitely dig that so we're going to be 
holding on to that as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous few pieces here. All right, remember this? This is a sweet little come up right here. So check this out. I actually eBayed this bad boy right here, and it looks like uh, there's a problem with the battery. Either the battery is completely drained, not exactly sure. I have it plugged in. I'll keep it plugged in for a few hours, see if anything happens with the battery rebooting. But here's the thing though, everyone's selling them on eBay without the batteries, which takes the cost of shipping way down because this personally would not be able to fit in any flat rate boxes. So what you do is you take the batteries out, which weigh a ton, recycle the batteries, and these bad boys are selling for about uh, definitely in the 60s to with shipping upper 60s, lower 70s. This is the APC Backup UPS RS1500. So that's a great come up right there. Without those batteries, shipping should be quite quite much, much, much cheaper. So that's a definitely a nice come up. That's about three pizzas right there. Three, three pizzas. I normally don't do this, but I'm leaving FedEx right now, shipping things on eBay. Remind me to tell you my secret FedEx post office hack. All right, let's go hunt my Sunday night complex. We're loading up another donation round for Salvation Army, donating this bad boy right here, a little trainer, indoor trainer. We got my old jack, my broken foot shoe, and some Cole Haan shoes here. Remember those bad boys? We're looking really good right there. Size 13, unfortunately. Drop dead gorgeous. They don't even look like they've been used. They have some guards on the top and bottom. Unfortunately, I still have a pair of Cole Haan shoes and they're just, they're not selling for some reason. I don't know what's going on. People are over Cole Haan, I guess. I've even lowered the price on eBay multiple times. I can't even find these ones on eBay. So we're just gonna scratch them. We're just gonna donate them. Sometimes if you're not in a pinch for extra funds, you just need to remove it. There's times where I just kind of look at the clutter and say, oh, okay, we need to purge. I need to feel organized. I need to feel like my man cave is dialed in real nicely. Again, we're gonna be hanging up the 50 inch TV over here. We got a little row of products I do need to sell. We still need to sell this one. Still need to sell the Dyson vacuum. That is gonna go back to the storage back there. The Xerox printer, power supply board. So there's plenty of stuff to sell, not to mention my Razor electric dirt bikes. Again, if you guys are not subscribed to the tech channel, it's always listed in the description box below. Go smash that subscribe button so you can see more of me, if that's something that interests you. Aw, oh, it's like the lone vacuum, just hanging out all by himself. Aw, oh, well, we're gonna leave you there. You're not a Dyson, unfortunately. Sorry, Ty, I know it's a little bit dark, but I'm not gonna go in for a closer look just because it's, uh, well, I mean, it's a beautiful chair, don't get me wrong, a vacuum. And then we got some sort of like organizational unit here, bottom left with a plant uh, right there on the half wall of little green plants kind of sticking out a little bit. Let's go ahead and press on, see if we can find something a little bit better. I call it drive-by dumpster diving. My dad likes to do this for garage selling. He calls it drive-by garage selling. You just kind of slow roll it past the garage sale. See if you want to go in for a closer look or not. Now, there's always, that's nasty, there's always stuff that's kind of lurking even at garage sales. And of course, there's a ton of stuff inside, but I'm going to be hitting probably 10 complexes tonight. And I do want to get back in time to pray and read the Bible with my wife before she goes to bed. So sometimes drive-bys are the best we can do, but weekends, that's when it's fair game. Well, 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 they're used rotors, but you could scrap that for metal. Those are super heavy. I'm 
going to go ahead and roll down my window so we can see this a little bit better. Looks like some sort of nice little bookshelf or uh, kind of a uh, decoration piece. Kind of a piece you would put next to your uh, television. Put a little like, you know, some, uh, some sort of pottery or... You know, some sort of sculptures up there, you know, some Jaws teeth, or maybe a, uh, minion. Every day and every night, every night. Every day and every night. Every night